Greetings, beloved angelics of the New Earth Nation. Today we commence day 11 of 33 Day of I Am Discourses. Thank you for joining us on this great journey together of manifesting heaven on earth through the majestic, mystical, divine I Am Presence. If this is your first time hearing this, please start with day one and follow through the 33 days being consistent with the practice, with the mantra, and living from the I Am Presence with the positive mindset, with persistence, and putting your heart and soul into this work and never give up. This is a daily practice, and eventually we live from the power of the I Am Presence. We begin today, Day 11, Discourse 11, November 7, 1932, St. Germain Invocation. From out of the great silence, O thou luminous brother, we welcome thee and thy ministry unto America, and as thou hast put forth thy opening wedge this day, so shall those under this radiation become aware of thy presence. O thou great light that illumines all earthly minds, making them aware of the one eternal presence, the one intelligence governing all the activity that I am, individualized everywhere. We give praise and thanks that there is but one intelligence governing everywhere, and the duty of the student always, no matter what the appearance, is to accept only this fact, and that it becomes a radiant channel to pour out this truth like a gushing stream pouring itself forth to the great ocean of life, we give praise and thanks that out of the silence has come another presence who will bless, lift, and enlighten humanity by the power which I am and the accumulated wisdom and energy of the centuries. I project forth into the minds of humanity this day that intelligent activity which will guide them aright and control them to act accordingly. By the I am, the universal I am, the great one, I command this power to act in all mankind. I bring you greetings from the great host and the great master, Himalaya. The master Himalaya, this is the first time that the presence of this luminous brother has been brought to the knowledge of the outer world. It is he from whom the Himalayan mountains receive their name. Thus ever since these have been raised into prominence, have they been a sacred, unchanging stream of life held unwaveringly. Hence those souls who came within their embrace were caught up and lifted into that luminous radiant form where they have long sent forth their rays of activity to heal and bless mankind. The Discourse As the destiny of India and America are entwined as two vines encircling the tree of life, so again this day has the radiant help come forth to try and blend in harmony the minds of America that it progress, proceed, unhampered and uninterrupted. Today there are in America thousands who have been reborn from India, and there are being reborn in India thousands from America, each to bring its interblending, balancing process required in both sections of the earth. This great being who has been introduced to you has after many centuries in the great silence again stepped forth, to exert that conscious blending process of spirit and manifestation, to hold forth the chalice, that its heart may be filled with the liquid fire of spirit, pouring forth into the hearts of mankind, creating that fullness of desire within them for greater and greater light, looking to and depending upon the one great source of light, I am, God in action everywhere. The entrance of this great presence again into the activity of mankind, will spread like a thread of light through all the activity of America and expand its luminous presence like a mantle of softly falling golden snow. It will be absorbed by the minds of humanity, the majority being entirely unaware, although there will be a some who will sense the inner penetrating presence. If those under this radiation continue in their present harmonious, beautiful progress, it will be possible shortly to bring to their attention certain activities of the nerve fluid which will hasten their mastery over the outer form. It means the mastery over all conditions that seem to bind or limit. I shall be surprised if your students do not feel the strength 
if they do not feel the presence of this great being today, even as I speak, his rays go out to them, touching the heart of each one, and I feel their thrill of joy, they not knowing just what it means. Watch carefully, each of you and your students, to be on guard, to reverse all negative conditions that appear to the senses, and the lesser things for practice. If the senses report you cold, reverse your consciousness and assert your warmth. If the senses report too much heat, reverse it with a sense of perfect, normal coolness. If the senses report to you ecstatic joy over certain enlightenment, say, be peace, be still, and assert your calm poise and assurance. The ideal in all sense reports is to move in the middle way, the balance always asserting the calm mastery of control, which I am. This will enable the establishing of a steady, flowing stream of creative ideas and energy from the heart of the great central sun, from out of which has come this great being, the master Himalaya. This will enable you to receive and use immensely more of that radiant energy which he pours forth. The reason for drawing your conscious attention to him has been that if you understood what it means, you may receive without limit from his energy, besides what you draw forth by your own conscious effort. The student must at all times understand that the masters do not come to them of the student's choice, but that they have been chosen to receive the radiance, a privilege for which words are entirely inadequate to convey the true meaning that can truly only be felt or visioned. Again, they should understand that the master's province is not to assume their responsibility by solving their problems for them, but to convey intelligent understanding, which they may apply in their own lives to solve their own problems. Thus they gain the needed strength, courage, and confidence to continue to reach up, step by step, gaining their own conscious mastery over the outer self and the outer world, always at certain points of growth, expansion, we hear students call out many times with great sincerity, great masters, help us to solve our problems. For encouragement and strength, I wish to say that far more than one has any concept is the radiating presence of the master pouring out strength, courage, confidence, and light, which in most instances the students are quite unaware of it in the outer sense consciousness. There is only one way in which anyone with wisdom can be of permanent help, and that is to consciously instruct his brother or sister in the simple laws by which one may wield the scepter, gain the victory, and attain to full dominion over the outer self and his world. To do the thing that the student requires in solving his problems would not only retard his progress, but weaken him immensely. Only by asserting one's conscious strength, winning victories, and thereby attaining confidence, which comes in no other way, does the student enter into the fullness of his own powers. With the powerful, masterful use of the consciousness of the I Am Presence, the student goes forward with absolutely no uncertainty to his goal of victory. The reason we have not and do not say more to the student concerning the assistance that we may be giving is to prevent his leaning upon an outside source, to say or do that which would cause the student to lean upon us, because he knows our presence would be the greatest mistake we could make, but the student need never fear, and he should know that every assistance possible is always given according to the point of attainment he has reached. The I Am Presence, the host of Ascended Masters and Ascended Jesus Christ are one and the same thing. Through the recognition and use of the I Am Presence, I tell you, you can positively bring forth any quality you wish into the outer conscious manifestation, if you will but do it. The need of everyone is to keep reminding the outer consciousness that when one says, I am this or I am that, he is setting God in action, which is his life individualized, the life of the universe, the energy of the universe, the intelligence at the heart of the universe governing all, it is necessary, it is vital, to keep the outer reminded of this fact. With this consciousness, the joyous enthusiasm of the student should increase continuously. There should at no time be a pall in the joy of its use, because it is positively the road to full mastery. The student must become firmly aware that he or she is the conscious controlling power in his life and his world, and that he can fill it with any quality 
that is needed or that he may choose. The students who have intermittent physical disturbance in the body should take the consciousness often, I am the perfectly controlled breath of my body and should in connection with this feel themselves as often as they can, breathing in that rhythmic breath. This will bring about a certain balance of breathing, which is immensely helpful in the control of the thought, since their students should, whenever possible, avoid listening to things that are disturbing. For in doing this, they often let in unknowingly elements they do not desire. Where they cannot with discretion avoid listening to things of this kind, they should use the following, I am the presence on guard here and consume instantly everything that seeks to disturb. Thus you will not only protect yourself but help the other person as well. While the student should at no time fear anything, it certainly is necessary to keep up the conscious guard until he has attained sufficient mastery to control his thought, feeling, and receptivity. From the golden city comes this limitless charge of energy for the blessing of the students of this radiation, as well as those of mankind who are looking to the light. Try to keep as much as possible in the joyous enthusiasm of the I Am Presence. Give it all power and do not hold any questioning in the mind. Throw everything to the winds. Give everything to that glorious I Am Presence and receive its magic revelation. It is the mighty, miracle-working presence that can and does solve all things, not only problems, but questions whose answers need revealing. A remarkable statement that would be enormously helpful to the students would be to say, I am the miracle-working presence in everything I require to have done. For students to keep meditating and contemplating what it means to say I or I am brings results, revelations, and blessings that cannot be overestimated. I am sure your students will soon begin to show and feel the remarkable activity of this use. Today I feel the presence of the understanding and use of this much more powerfully than any time hitherto. On the higher planes there is a constant meeting and exchange of help while the bodies are asleep, far beyond anything the outer self is conscious of, knowing that I am the quality of whatever I wish to use, then you know you can produce in visible, tangible form whatever you have within the consciousness. The moment the questioning of the outer mind can be put under control and made to subside, the greatest revelations pour forth, almost tumbling over each other. Owing to the need the master Himalaya chose to come forth, he brings a special blending of America and India, and that is why it is possible for him to come here. As the inner presence comes into action, all outer activity subsides. It must necessarily because it obeys the I Am Presence. The golden snow is what the Great Presence spreads over America to be absorbed by individuals and the very particles of the atmosphere itself. This will enable the students especially to be greatly assisted and blessed because they have become the focus for this outpouring. It may be well for the students to understand that in national requirements as in individuals, there are qualities needed for certain definite purposes at certain times. That is the reason for special great beings coming forth, these individuals having predominant the quality that the nation needs at a given moment. The students who can take this understanding with great sincerity will find a new element entering into their lives which will benefit them greatly. The activity of the expectation is quite a vital one in receiving from the inner presence. It is a faculty that can be used with a great deal of benefit by the student who cultivates it. For instance, if we have planned something from which we expect great joy, we feel all buoyed up with expectancy. We can acquire and use the same expectancy and elements we wish to acquire and use, for it is very helpful in enabling them to come forth. If one calls on the phone and you are to meet that one in the city, you expect to meet him. If you desire to meet the masters, one requirement is to expect to meet them. That is very helpful. Why not expect to meet them now? People have become so abnormal in their habits that naturally they have interfered with their breathing as well as other things. To use the statement, I am, the balancing breath, will do a great deal more for them 
than the use of many breath exercises without the aid of an ascended master, the coming amazing activity will be done by the use of the I Am Presence, because with its use anything can be accomplished. Take the consciousness often, I Am the balancing breath. This sets in motion the inner activity that maintains the outer perfection. And whatever you do, always take the I am consciousness, and then you immediately set it into motion. Take the attitude of calm certainty in your mind, and keep on keeping on. Benediction, thou mighty presence, whom we in great joy have welcomed, we thank thee for thy great wondrous radiance and light, thy great radiance and conquering power, and we trust that thou mayest decree justice now and for all time to mankind. St. Germain, I shall have to journey on. Question, where are you going? Answer, home. Question, which one? Answer, the golden city. It is clothed in the electronic substance and is just as tangible to you as the physical. Within the light of the golden city are lights that are much brighter than the surrounding radiance as these physical lights are in this atmosphere. Within all light at certain points is consciousness focused. At those points it becomes illumination. Suppose this room were the great sun. It has an atmosphere. The individuals moving within it would have their own radiance about them, the same as the lights in this room. And this ends Day 11, Discourse 11 of our 33 Days of I Am Presence Activation. So by now, beloved being of light, you should realize and recognize the power of these teachings and practices and the power of the I Am Presence and our connection to the Ascended Masters. And you have, at this time, been able to experience the power of manifestation as long as you practice this art on a daily basis throughout the day and never give up and keep going through and through and through until our breakthrough because it is the repetition it is the consistency that we master this art and any art and this is the most powerful art of living from the i am presence and filling your word and the world with your radiant light and knowing that i am here that i am always here that i am in this body where I always am, the body of Christos, the body of the universe, the body of all emanations, is the I am presence, the action of God. And through this gnosis, this knowledge, we activate our greatest co-creative ability of manifestation. And know always, I am that I am. I am here, and I am there, and I am everywhere. So nothing is beyond my control and nothing is beyond my true attainment when I live from this I Am Presence. So thank you for joining us on this great journey. If you have not joined us on Patreon yet, you can at patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. And we look forward to manifesting heaven on earth with you and our angelic team of 144. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Keep walking your sacred path with heart. The eagle and the condor send you lots of love and blessings in the divine light of source. Namaste.